Thank you, sugar. Well, to make a long story short, my brother Bill decided about two years ago that ranching was not for him, so he moved into the city with his wife and kids. Yeah, well, my brother and sisters didn't take much to ranching either. <laughs> well, he's pretty happy. He bought a local hardware store. Seems to be making a go of it. Yeah, and he's, uh, he was a Navy man, wasn't he? Yeah. He always had to do things different for me, you know. You met him once, I think, uh, in Hawaii, I think. I remember. Anyway, Bill and his wife built a nice little, nice little house out of the ranch. So it's vacant. If you and Steve want to move in, you're welcome. That sounds perfect. It's a school bus stops right about a half a mile down the road, so that's no problem. Your boy into sports? Yeah. He runs track in the spring. He plays basketball the rest of the year. I know. Red Gardner, that's a basketball coach. He has one of the best programs in the county. In fact, uh, last year, junior varsity went all the way to the state finals. <laughs> Steve would be pleased about that. Well, I can take you over to school tomorrow and introduce you to Red. He's old buddy. So is the principal, for that matter. It sounds like maybe Steve and I have found ourselves a home. Oh, I have a rented car that I've got to turn in eventually. I don't suppose there's any place around here that I could do that. No, uh, I have to go into the city. Just let me know when you're ready and make the trip in. You drop off the car and I'll I come back. I hate to put you out. No. no, I can't do that. Don't worry. <laughs> I've got a couple of old trucks out at the ranch. And you can use one to get around until you're ready to buy a car for yourself. You know, John, I... I really appreciate all of this. It's no big deal. I mean, anyway, uh, he got me out of a couple of pretty, pretty close spots when we were in Nam, so I'm kind of glad to have the chance to return the favor. <laughs> ah, wait a minute. Oh, come on now, no. please. John? Bad man. <laughs> Hi, honey. Mm, sorry it took so long, but I had to stop by the sheriff's office and talk to him. Uh, is Lulina all right? Yes. You all right? Yes. Yeah. Hey, it looked like uh, Wanda's car was pulling out of the driveway when I came up. Uh... Yes, it was. What did she want? She came over to tell me that Buddy's very worried about Stephen. She brought this. It's their team basketball photo. It was taken the last, last week, right before Barrett took Steve in. It's probably the last picture I'll ever see. Uh, you have to stop being so upset. Now you're playing into Barrett's hands if you do. I'm sorry. I, I just feel so helpless, Ryan. Well, it's, it's not. Listen, I keep telling you we're going to find Steve. We're going to bring him back to Houston, and everything's going to be just the way it was before. Everything seems so wrong. Hey, you're just tired. Now you stayed up half the night with Lurleen. You need some sleep. Why don't you go upstairs and you're going to be surprised how much better you're going to feel. All I want to do is make you happy. Oh, you do. Yeah, but since our wedding... Uh, Ginny, I have you and before long we're going to have Steve, aren't we? Suppose that Steve doesn't want me. Suppose he doesn't love me anymore. Steve loves you, Ginny. He always will love you. Now, if I was ever sure of anything in this world, I'm sure of that. The line's busy? Well, you sure you got the right number? Yes, sir. Thanks, anyway. Son, how you doing? What you up to? Nothing else, just putting something away in my suitcase. Well, I got good news. You can put everything in that suitcase. Because we are moving out of this motel and into a house on the Granville Ranch. We are? Yes. Not only did my friend have a job for me, but he's got a house as well. John says that we can move into his brother's place tonight. Stay just as long as we like. Now, what do you think about that? Hmm? John says that he's got a horse for you to ride, too. Pretty big gelding. 
want my own horse and morning glory. Well, don't be in such a rush. We'll send for your horses and morning glory, too, just as soon as we can. But in the meantime, you can ride the bay gelding, okay? Now then, tomorrow we're going to take you into school and get you enrolled. From what John says, not a very big school. It's only a couple hundred kids, but <laughs> the basketball team's one of the best in the state. Now, I don't think I want to play basketball. Well, sure you do. And uh, John's a good friend of the coach, and so he'll introduce you and get you on the team. But I won't know anybody. Well, you will. You'll be surprised at how quickly you can make friends. John says that uh, two of the hands have boys your age, so you'll even have a couple of buddies right out on the ranch. I don't want a couple of buddies. Oh, Steve, come on. Don't be difficult about this. You and I are about to start a brand new life. If you'll just make a little effort, I think we're going to do just fine. Mm -hmm. Need any help with that? No, I think I'm okay. You sure you wouldn't want to come in with me and do a little grocery shopping? No, I hate getting stuck on those checkout lines with all those ladies. Well, suit yourself. I'll drive down to that supermarket we passed and get some stuff for dinner. When I get back, I'll check out in here and get on our way to the ranch. Okay, I'll be ready. Hello. No, don't place the call. I'll do it later. Thank you. That was the desk clerk. He wanted to know if he should try calling Houston again. I was calling Grandma. What for? I want to see how she is, see how Mom is. I don't want you talking to Grandma. Not for a while. Why not? You said you were homesick. If you talk to Grandma, you'll just make things worse. I don't see why. I don't want you talking to Grandma or anyone else in Houston. But... Dad... No calls. Do you understand? Yes. All right, then. I'm going to the supermarket. You'll be ready to leave when I get back. 